Um, do you have any high school regrets? Like when you were writing your essay or even just when you were looking back in the four years, did you have like something that you felt really sad that you didn't get to do? Um, I would say personally, no, because I went into high school with two goals and my two goals were to uh, make as much of a positive impact on people as I can. Like I wanted, I wanted to leave high school knowing that people would like remember me as someone who was good and made as much of an impact as I could. And number two, I didn't want to sacrifice who I was for my academics or for school. So I made sure to like work really hard in school and study really hard, but also to keep my social connections and hang out with my family and my friends and make sure that I kept who I was and kept my passions outside of school. So um, I, I, and I also, I, I, um, I recognize in, in ninth grade, I think I mentioned this, but to do what I like and not what I think I should like. Um, I spent ninth grade kind of experimenting, finding clubs that I liked. I joined like Science Olympiad and a couple other things. And I was like, oh, this is not for me. And then I really, <laughs> I really found what I wanted to do. And um, I really continued those. And I'm glad I did because I think I finished high school in a, in a good light. I'm very happy with what I did. So there's always things I could have done better, but I don't really regret what I did. <laughs> that was very well said. Um, I was kind of similar in ninth grade. I joined like 20 clubs because I thought that I could or should do all of them. I also joined Science Olympiad and I did not continue it because it really just wasn't for me. Um, and a lot of my friends are active in it, but it just wasn't something that I really felt super passionate about. Um, and so it does, it does kind of take some time to, you know, find what you're super interested in. It was actually Eva that recommended to me that I should join student government. And now like that has become my whole life. Um, and so, you know, sometimes things happen in unexpected ways. Um, but I think in terms of regrets, I think I do regret comparing myself to others as much as I did. It was definitely not good for my emotional state and it's really hard to not do. Um, you know, especially since all of my friends are super accomplished, wonderful, intelligent people. And I think like when I'm surrounded with people like that, it's super easy for me to think, oh, well, they're all doing this and what am I doing? But the truth is everyone's doing something different. All of my friends have, you know, slightly different interests than me and stuff. They're fantastic at stuff that I can't do at all. And I do stuff that they don't. Um, and so I think, yeah, I do regret comparing myself to others. I've done that kind of my whole life, you know, either to my brother or to the people that I'm surrounded by. Um, but no good is ever going to come out of that because yeah, you can so admire true. other people and the work that they do and be happy for them. And you should, you should cheer on your friends and support them. You know, if you really should, having a supportive group of friends is super important. Um, so you should be happy for other people's accomplishments and you should cheer them on, but you shouldn't think any less of yourself for what other people accomplish because the truth is it has nothing to do with you everyone's just doing their best and trying to be the best person that they can possibly be and that includes you so yeah I think that's yeah. what I would have to say in terms of regret 